Welcome back to the Have You Seen a Podcast YouTube channel. My name is Mason Nice. Sitting across me is Cash Krause, and this is our YouTube exclusive American Cinema Trailer Reaction. So if you guys like what you see here, please be sure to smash the like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single week. So with that said, Cash, what are we reacting to today? Mason, this just may be my most anticipated film of 2023. <laughs> I mean... Of course it is. Is there a more fun experience than going to an Indiana Jones besides the last one? <laughs> yeah, besides the last and one. And I still uh, had fun on that one. There's just some scenes where it's like, what are we... Are we reading a cartoon now? Or the CGI. Oh, my... The CGI uh, gophers? Classic. Yes. And the CGI cars. And the, and sw the vine swinging. It, that there were some questionable decisions <laughs> being made in that going into one. the refrigerator with the nuke. Uh -huh. Yeah, that too. That uh, but those first three films, Mason, oh, Temple tremendous. Doom, Last Crusade. I grew up on them. I watched them all the time. It's just, All the time. I watch them. I still watch them. I still get the exact same feeling. They're just yep. so much fun. They're just a roller coaster ride. You know the story is so good, too. It is. You know what's really sad, though? I wish we would have saved our Indiana reviews. I know. Which you can go back and watch. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, we did do all the Indiana uh, except Jones for reviews. Except for Crystal uh, Skull. Crystal Skull. Yeah, we did not do that. Maybe what we do is we get Crystal Head and we review uh, Crystal I'm Skull. I'm going to need a lot of Crystal Head vodka to, to pass through that. It's very true. <laughs> yeah. Very true. But. This is Indiana Jones 5, Dial of Destiny, Mason, and it's the last one for what I hear. Well, you know, I, I would assume it's the last one, being that uh, Harrison Ford is almost 80 years old. So. Yeah, absolutely. But it has an awesome backdrop of a story for sure. I don't know if you've seen the premise yet. Well, he is 80. Yeah, he's definitely yeah. 80, dude. Definitely. 1942, the year, ironically enough, the year America uh, went into World War II. To fight Nazis was the year he was born. Yeah. And now he's fighting Nazis that. on the screen. Well, I, I mean, yeah, in all technicality, I suppose. Uh, December 7th, 1941 is a day that will live in infamy. But we were in war in 42, so yeah. basically right. Yeah, for right sure. There. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, uh, and now he's fighting Nazis in almost real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he almost is. You know, In this film, it's weird, too, because like... Uh, Set wise, it's it's set in uh, 1969 during the space race. How crazy is this? Is we've gone from the f we started down the 40s. I feel like maybe the first one was in the 30s. Like I think it was. 30s. I think it was pre World War II. Yeah, mm -hmm. and now we're all the way almost in the 70s. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's it's in 1969. Of course, it's Indiana Jones, archaeologist, last adventure, and uh, set during the space race, which is an awesome era. But old Indy's got some problem with America hiring on Nazis. He does. He's doesn't like, I, like it very much. Says Operation what? Paperclip? Yeah. Not a fan of this. Get okay. these Nazis Guys, I don't know here. what you, you think I've been doing for the last 20 years. I've been hunting down and killing these people. <laughs> well, okay. He's been making sure they don't get some paranormal-esque weapons. Hey, so. He face melted them. Not him. It was the Ark. But, but he's he cowered. He still yeah. cowered. But he was partially responsible for that. But because he knew what was coming. What would happen if the Ark was in Hitler's hands? What, uh, destruction. The power. The power. The power. Of power. So and people aren't. We don't even have like an Indiana Jones Day. People aren't celebrating no. him like. And he defeated the Nazis. Indiana Let's, Jones. Uh, I mean, he well, am I being hyperbolic there too? Okay, maybe he did not. But, but you never know what would have happened had they gotten all that shit. Right. He know? did contribute. That's oh, what we for sure, say. absolutely. Yeah. What if Hitler got the fucking the chalice, the, the, the fountain of youth? You know, <laughs> Hitler would be a hundred and eight right now, still <laughs> he ruling. He would. It would be a terrible world. I'm just so. saying we need to thank him a little bit more. Than what and we do. Right thank now. you, Indy. But this one also, it's introducing a new character. That's Indiana Jones' godfather, uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who is an amazing actress. Uh, she's being introduced. Whoa, okay. Taking on the helm, perhaps? Can we say uh, perhaps Shia LaBeouf won't be making an appearance in this one? You know what is crazy is I like the Shia LaBeouf character uh. in... Crystal Skull. That's not yeah. the worst part of that film. Yeah, I like that little. Element. No, I'm just. I brought it up because I know, I know the what relationship you're saying, exactly. between. Those but I'm two. saying like people shit on him for being in that film as well. But I, that's not the worst part of that film at all. The, no, he, he could have totally gone on and been like, like what was his name? Mutt. I liked. I like mm -hmm. Mutt in those movies. Like he could have went on and been the new Indiana, Indiana Jones. But that movie sucks so bad, yeah. and people fucking hated it. But yeah, that's not the worst part of that movie for sure. But. No, he will not be. Although Shia LaBeouf, he's in a movie. He's in a movie coming out. 
Yeah, he's soon, not coming canceled. up soon. He's not no, canceled. No, he's in a, uh, a saint one where he plays a Catholic priest. Yeah, that's overcorrection. What you do in Hollywood? That's like Will Smith. Uh, he's in gotta do what you gotta do to survive, baby. <laughs> now he's playing a slave. As long as you don't double down like Kanye, okay? <laughs> yeah, don't go the other way. Yeah, if you're caught doing some horrible oh, shit, no. play Jesus in your next film. Oh, but yeah. But don't double down. Don't double down. Don't do it. Abandon <laughs> what you believe. <laughs> if it's fucked up, abandon Bro, it. When you make Alex Jones uncomfortable. When you make Alex Jones the most sane person in the room. Dude, that, I couldn't believe that was real life. I was sitting there like, we're in a simulation. Oh, my we God. We are in a well, simulation. Well, even Alex Jones questioning if it's really Kanye. Yeah. Be like, you got to take the mask. Yeah, take it off. Like, we don't know if this is you. Dude, the wildest interview. Anyway, I've never seen Alex Jones taken back. He's, neither have I. He's, he's said the most insane shit. But when this guy, mm-hmm. <laughs> at least as far as Alex Jones He's not gone so crazy enough where he's still in the the thought that Hitler was a bad guy. Right, he's right. not gone full circle. No, he that. has not. No, but dude, oh my gosh, yeah, it, it was wild. Anyway, I've never seen someone go hit the speed <laughs> run on ruining your career so fast as fucking he, God. Did. He said, "Oh, you like me today? You'll hate me tomorrow." He went from a multi billionaire. To less than $50 in million dollars minutes. in his account. <laughs> yeah. And all it took Crazy. was to say, Hitler, not a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, that's, and that is a quote from Kanye. Something we do it. not agree with. Yeah. YouTube. Please Let's do be not very clip clear there. that. Yeah, I do not said, clip yeah. that. Okay. That was a quote. But Hitler invented highways. He did? <laughs> what? <laughs> he also invited the microphone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which we wouldn't have music without him. Uh, we wouldn't. You would not yeah. have. Yep, he was the first one to ever invent music. We didn't even understand what sounds were back then. No, but uh, but yeah, went off a little tangent on that. It's yeah. hard not to bring up Nazis though, and you know, talk about the present day. I know. <laughs> what's what's in happening? a room, but uh, but as far as craziest things get, we always can stand <laughs> stand true to knowing that Indiana Jones he will not he will waver on his hate. Cash, we are eight minutes in without writing. Yeah, reacting. I can you go know on we're going to get another 30 300 <laughs> comments on this video. Just react to the video already. Oh, I say we don't even watch it <laughs> at this point. Let's to. Just... Well, I haven't even seen this trailer. Yeah, either. you're going to want to watch it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty uh, pretty excited to see it here. Uh, I got something going on. Hold on. All right, here we go. Here it is. Indiana Jones in the, in the Dial of Destiny. <laughs> that that kind of took me back a little bit. Okay. It's not a great name, but let's no. be honest. I feel like none of the <laughs> until you see the movie Temple of Doom, they all sound like stupid names. Yeah, that's until true. Until you see the film, but I'm hoping it's going to be a better Dial Destiny. All right, here it is. I miss the desert. <sighs> Gimli. Wow, what a jump! I miss the sea. I miss waking up every morning, wondering what wonderful adventure the new day will bring to us. Those days have come and gone. Perhaps, perhaps not. I don't believe in magic, (laughs) but a few times in my life, I've seen things. Things I can't explain. And I've come to believe it's not so much what you believe. It's how hard you believe it. I gotta the love music. That. Who is this man? He's I'm her godfather. Related. Get back. <laughs> Classic indie. Uh, dude, I gotta say too, for being 80 years old, he looks really good. I mean, they'll prop him up any way they can, so Hollywood magic. Babe. But we got so uh 
so consumed with with talking about Nazis and Kanye that we, we did. didn't even talk about the insane cast that's Mad Milkinson, Antonio Banderas. Yes. And this this is probably maybe maybe the most important thing that we didn't talk about is the last score by John Williams. Ever. Yes. He and is what, um, flying to Oregon for a self suit. No, I'm sure. I don't blame uh. him for that. <laughs> uh, but what, it, it's his last, he's retiring after. Yeah, he right? is. How crazy, but what a way to go out, man. To go out on the film that, you know, really, really, you know, well, really feel, cemented your legacy. Yeah, for his career, too, it was really cool to see that he got to, you know, participate again in Star Wars, a franchise very close to his heart, and, like, how much he's worked on that. And then to close out his career with another Lucasfilms yeah. uh, film that, that he wrote the music, that it's a beautiful uh, score. The music is so iconic. And it mean, really is. You, anyone, he, you could hear two seconds of that mm-hmm. and know, oh, that's the, that's, bum, ba, dum, bum, yeah, that's Indiana Jones theme. It's so fucking yeah. good. And that it's trailer awesome. was a great trailer, too, to have that play right, to, to hit those those emotional chords for yeah. sure, man. That's gonna be a tough one for me, I think. It's gonna, it's gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm you're, really excited I'm, for it. You're but saying I'm, a goodbye to a lot of things in that. You are, you are, and I'm getting tired of saying goodbye. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm gonna freaking cry. It's dude. been a rough couple of years. It really has. It really so has. But I can't wait for that, man. I, I am so excited for that. And James Mangle, he's an amazing director. He's an amazing. So it's in really, really good hands. And this is set to release June 30th, 2023. So a good old summer blockbuster, Cash. That's going to be I good. know. And if we're lucky, maybe the last film by Kathleen Kennedy. Please. Please, God. Please. There's a lot of movies. We would in like it. more Star Wars films that don't suck. Please, <laughs> yeah, God. Please. Oh man, I can't. Yeah, she's well. Just Bob, Bob Iger's back at Disney now, so we we never talked. That's just the biggest wave ever, man. That is so fucking crazy. And I, what I hear is rumors is she will be out because of it. Him coming back. Well, good. Then maybe it is good. Bobby. Bob Iger is a great. CEO. Maybe it's because Bob's back. Then. Yeah, <laughs> Bobby's back, baby. Yeah, as long as he fires her, then he's. I don't care what he does. I know because for having Star Wars, just sit and do nothing. Although wow. Andor is so fucking good, dude. I don't know if you're watching That's that. That's crazy that you brought that up because I was I waited until all it's twelve is maybe the best Star Wars anything. Mm-hmm. It's so fucking good. Yeah, dude. Jimmy said it was really good too, but I'm I'm uh this weekend I'm just gonna binge watch binge the whole it, thing. It, and then part two's coming out like in like six months, another twelve episodes or something. Oh sweet. Yeah. Nice. Oh well man, that is that is Indiana Jones Dial of Destiny. I can't wait. I'm gonna be emotional, I'm gonna be bawling. I know. It's going to be a powerful film. Cannot wait for it. All right, everyone. That is our reaction to Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. What the hell is that title? Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. My name is Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause. Double D, baby. Until next time. (laughs) 